So you want to add details, but you want to keep them constrained in the certain areas of your lures. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go. All right, guys, I got the start of a little paddle tail I'm working on here. I've sculpted the body. I'm not a very good sculptor, but here we go. And I've split it in two because we only need to work on one section. And now we're going to go about adding some details to this lure. So the first thing I do is I create a sketch and I want to create it on the plane that is the same plane basically I used to split my lure in two. And then I want to create a project and I want to select this geometry on the outside. All that, click OK. And now I should be able to hide that body and I have an outline of my lure. It's a little bumpy, but that's okay. Now what I want to do is I want to come in here and start thinking about where I want my body parts to be. So in this case, I'm going to carve off the head and I'm going to use a fit point spline here. I'm going to come down to about here, click OK. I'm having this weird bug where the escape key doesn't work, so I got to go into this press pull thing here and then get out of it. And I'm just going to bend this around and I'm just, you know, totally eyeballing this thing, but like that. All right. And now I'm going to come in with a line that's going to kind of split the top and the bottom half of my lure. And I'll start here in the middle, but I'll go up to the middle of my tail. Well, rough middle, right? It's Arbro. You can do whatever you want. Okay. That looks good. So I can finish this sketch, bring my body back. And I want to click on the split body command. We're going to split this body and my split tool, my first split tool, I'm going to select this arc, click on OK. So now I have this, I'm going to rename this to head just to make it easy. And I'm going to make that go away. I'm going to hit the split body command again, select this body. We're going to come over here, turn back on my sketch that has my splits. And my splitting tool is going to be this line and click on OK. And so now if I turn off this sketch, I have a bottom. So we're going to rename this body bottom. And we have a top that has the name of the original body we have. I don't want to change that because when I combine them all back together, I want to take that name again. You can change it if you want to, but just know that that, that is what it is. Okay. So I break off the head because we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do a scale type pattern. And um, I don't want to scale pattern on the head. I'm not going to go into the full detailing of this lure. I got plenty of videos that I'll link to the end of this video that you can go watch if you want to see that. All right, so we turn off the head and then we're going to create a sketch on this side. And so what I'm going to try to replicate is something you see a lot on lures where the top half has the cross hatch kind of pattern and the bottom has, you know, single line pattern on it. So we're going to create a sketch on that plane, same plane we've been working on. We're going to get a line. We're going to start it about here. And we want to make sure this line is going to go across and cover all of our body here, right? So we want to make sure it's long enough to, when I stretch it, when I make a pattern this way, it's going to cover it. Okay. Then we're going to create a rectangular pattern on this guy. And we're going to go this way past the end. And this is where you really just set how you want this to look. Now, of course you could have made this a different angle, whatever you want. I'm not really like too picky about it. Um, 30, does 30 look good? Yeah, let's do 30 and click OK. All right, now we're going to create another line, same angle here. And then we're going to create another rectangle pattern. This line, we're going to go this way all the way to the end and we want 30, right? Okay, so now we have a crosshatch pattern all the way through. Okay, so now you can kind of decide which lines you want to be on the bottom and which lines you want to be on the top as far as pattern wise. So I want my lines to be going towards the back of the lure. So I'm going to grab these guys and pull them longer. Also, of course, can mess with the angles, see something you like there. So that's just going to make it easier for us in the next step. Okay, so we click finish sketch. We are going to turn off my top and we're only going to work on the bottom here. Now we need to create yet another sketch. Again, same plane we've been working on, whatever plane you got. We're going to create a project to surface. 
my faces are going to be this face and this face and this face, right? So select all your faces and my curves are going to be all of these guys down here. Cool. That's why I made those longer because it's easier to select them all that way if I make them longer. If I make them all the same length, then I mean, you mean click, 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 clicking in there is not gonna be fun. Then I'm going to go along with vector and I'm going to choose this direction. And what you should see is red lines wrapped around the body, just like that. It's gonna give you an error that some of the um, curves can be rejected. That's just because they're past, uh, like this guy right here, he's past the body, but don't worry about that, it's cool. Click on okay and we can finish sketch. Okay, now let's add our lines to the top. So we turn off our body, turn back on the top, create a sketch, again, same plane. Gonna go through the same exact process. Project to surface, select all of our surfaces here. My curves, I'm gonna select all of these at the top. Along vector and direction, again, goes across the body, this red one here. And now I have a crosshatch pattern up there. Pretty sweet. Okay. okay. Projections are sweet, okay. Click on okay. Do a little calculating. Again, it's gonna give me some errors about things that can be projected. Totally fine, bro. Finish sketch. All right, now what we have is if we turn off that main sketch, I got these guys here. All right, now we go into create form, create pipe, and I wanna do these one at a time. Because basically if you try to do them at the same time, you get like these weird errors about self-intersecting faces and stuff. We don't want to mess with that. So let's do um, sketch four here. These guys, we're going to create a pipe and we want to do half a millimeter. Again, I find smaller the better. If you got a bigger lure, obviously you can make them bigger, but we got a small one. So let's go small. We're going to do smooth and square and our sections are gonna be all of this. So I just click and drag to the left and turn them on there, boom. Okay. In types, square. I don't know why I didn't like to keep a square there. Okay, click, okay. Now we come back and turn on sketch five. We want to create pipe. And this is where it gets a little tricky, right? Because, um, Fusion is not very good at intersecting pipes. So we're gonna do these individually one at a time. This is where it gets kind of clicky and annoying. And now we're just gonna cross your fingers that everything works, but it didn't. Self-intersecting surfaces, all right. Boom, all of those. Whoa, that's terrible. So we're gonna click all of the ones going one way. Make a circle and make them square. You always wanna make them square. Okay, click on okay. It's gonna give us all those bodies, turn that sketch back on. And I can actually hide these to make it easier. Create pipe, hide these, and we're gonna go this direction now. Now I could have made this a little bit simpler if I had put each of these lines in separate sketches, then I probably could have come through and selected, you know, whole sketches. Um, you know, to me, it's, you know, just as easy to do this way. Um, you know, you do you bro, but you can do individual sketches for the ones going this way and it just going to show one going this way project them all. Maybe it's a little bit more efficient, but you know, it's cool. All right, so click on okay. That's gonna make all those bad boys. Now turn this back on and now you have super cool patterns. We're gonna fix this kind of mess in here in just a minute. So click finish form. All right, now we got all of these bodies and we got our top and our bottom. Okay, so now let's take care of this kind of mess in here. And to do that, we're going to turn back on this sketch. And let's, let's now combine our top and bottom. That's probably the easiest way to do this. 
my mini swim with bottom. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna hide all of these other bodies real quick. So the best way to do that is to click on the top one, scroll all the way down, click on the bottom, right click and show hide. You could also hit the V key if you wanted to. And that's gonna make all of those go away. And we also don't need this sketch anymore. Okay, so now that we've combined our top and bottom, we're gonna make yet another sketch. And again, on this plane, same thing we did before, project to surface. This is my surface, that's the only one I need because I'm going to select this curve in here, a long vector, and that's my direction. All right, that's gonna give us kind of that midline, if you will. Finish sketch, go into forms. Oops, not a quad ball, bro. Create a pipe. It's here, and I'm gonna actually make this one one millimeter and square. Answer. Okay, so now we can start really bringing it all together. I'm gonna go ahead and label this guy midline because I wanna save him to the end. Turn him off. Click the bottom, come all the way back up here to the top. Hit the V key, turn those back on. Okay, so now I want to combine my bodies and my tool bodies are gonna be all of these bad boys. Now you can decide if you want to cut them or if you want to leave them as bumps. I'm actually going to cut these because um, I feel like it. Operational cut, we do not want to keep tools. And we click OK. And boom, there we go. And then we do one more combination, mini swim. Tool bodies is my midline. Operation is cut and click OK. And that kind of cleans up all of that uh, connecting in there. And again, maybe, well, that's probably a little big, bro. So to fix that, we're just gonna come back here and edit this form. We're gonna go to my pipe, we're gonna edit pipe and let's just make this 0.65. Finish form, and it should recalculate, do all of its mumbo jumbo, hopefully not crash, and there we go. Okay, so let's just finish this up to make it complete for you guys. That's how you add those details there. And we're going to combine our head back on. You know, obviously if you had different things you wanna put on the head alone, you do that now. And um, like eyes and stuff, it's usually easier to do if it's standalone. Gills, that kind of thing. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna combine those back together. So I have one body and then we create a mirror. We want a body mirror, this body, our mirror plane is that sketch we've been doing everything on. Right there, we can join them up. And we can wait for fusion. And boom, there you go. We are good to go. <laughs> See, it crashed, I told you it was gonna crash. Fusion on the Mac is terrible. I'm gonna go back to Windows. Um, pretty darn soon. But I hope that was helpful, guys. Now you have your lure body with your details on it. You can go about your day. Take care. Tight lines.